So in the previous video, I derived that e of x is equal to n times p for the binomial distribution. In this video, I want to derive the formula for var of x. Now, in the previous video, I introduced you to what the binomial distribution is. It is the sum of n independent Bernoulli trials, where the Bernoulli trial is essentially a special case of the binomial distribution when n is 1. So x here is the binomial distribution, and it is the sum of n independent Bernoulli trials. Now, in order to find v of x, I need to find e of x squared. In order to find e of x squared, I need to find e of x i squared and figure that out first. OK, so that would be the sum of each of the r squareds times by their pres uh, respective probabilities. So we'll have 0 squared times 1 minus p plus 1 squared times p. And of course, that's just p. OK, so that means that var of xi is going to be equal to uh, e of xi squared take away e of xi squared. Now, this is equal to p. We just worked that out. Now, e of xi was equal to p, if you remember from the previous video. So that's take away p squared. Remember, that is e of x uh, of the binomial distribution, whereas here we're looking at e of xi, which is the expected value of your uh, Bernoulli trial. OK, so they are different here. Or you could think of it as the Bernoulli trial when n is 1, right? So when n is 1, you just get p. So that works out as well. So that is the variance of each of my Bernoulli trials. So I want the variance of the binomial distribution, which is var of x1 plus x2 plus dot, 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 dot up to xn. Now we know from our discrete probability distribution knowledge that we can break that apart. And that's the variance of x1 plus the variance of x2 plus all the way up to the variance of xn running out of space. Now each of those has a variance of p take away p squared. So I've got p take away p squared plus p take away p squared plus all the way up to p take away p squared. Now how many of them do I have? Well 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to n. So I've got n lots of p take away p squared. Now, if you factorise this, you can factor out the p, and then you're going to get left with 1 minus p. And there is the formula for the variance of the binomial distribution with n independent trials and probability of success p.